Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to integrate the Google's Gemini AI APIs in your Android app with Java code part we'll see. In my previous videos, I have shown how to do it in Kotlin. And over here, I will show how to do it in Java. So let's begin. Create a new project. Change this to Java. You can name this as Gemini API Android. Or Java API, Java API, Android app, and then click on finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while, so the environment is still loading. In the meantime, I can just quickly show. So we'll be following the steps from this particular uh, reference document, the quick starter guide given by the Gemini itself. So the some of the parts they have given we will mostly using this part only. so we will be needing this dependency for java code that I can copy you can copy directly here but I will copy just the parts which I need so these are the three dependencies which I need so I will just control C I will go back to my android studio ok the environment is still loading I will have to wait so in the meantime I will also show you how to generate the api key so if you see we will need the api key for it to work so go to your um, google.com aistudio.google.com and over here you can get this page get api key button if you click here if you have already created one it will show up here if not you can click on this create api key button and you can either uh, select any of the projects uh, and then click on this if the project is not there you will have to create a new project so that's all and it will take a while in this got created so if I close this so it will show here okay so I'll minimize it for a timing I'll come back to this later and before it let me quickly finish up my other things so what I need is I need the gradles which I've copied already in my clipboard I'll paste it and okay so here there is some warning I'll just hover over it and it says to change to 0 0.2.0 which is the latest version so just do that and then change here and then click on sync now and wait for it to complete the syncing it will take a while and in parallel what I can do is I can also update my manifest file to for the access of internet so because the conversation will happen on the internet so it's better to give that access so that's all I think I'll need so Gradle file also sync because that button option has gone off. So I'll go to my design part quickly. So text view probably what I'll do is I'll keep it. Uh, the text view. I'll do one thing. I'll just make it bigger. Yeah, and I can just give it some ID text view so that I can access it on the Google side or uh, on the Java code side and I can I'll increase the size somewhat probably say 24 SP I think that's all for this one I can change it to hello world or something like that I'll, I'll just add my channel's name hello program fine other thing I'll do is I'll add a button here and I'll name this as call Gemini API and then so this is just a for trigger for my code I don't want to do it on on create method so I just want the manual trigger over there I'll quickly come back to my Java code and create a method public void button call Gemini API Press Alt Enter so that the required libraries are imported. Yeah, and also what I'll do is I'll okay. So this method is created, and I'll go back to my layout. And this button's on click attribute somewhere down below. You should associate it with that particular method. So that whenever this button is clicked, this particular method will be called. I'll also create a class variable for text view. Text view which I will associate it with the light widget in the on create method itself uh, id dot text view for that 
yeah now once this is done the for the actual code i'll go quickly to my reference document again and over here initially it says how to set up the api keys dependencies initialize the generative model and so on and so forth however the code which i'll use is this one the first one simple so it has given different samples like how to use a text from text import so then text from image then create a chatbot and also everything will work but for this exercise i'll keep it a very simple one which is basically i'll copy the this part text to text like text input and text audio output i'll come back i'll paste it here and i may have to keep clicking alt enter for, for a few times so that i can import the required class yeah, just keep pressing alt enter Here, instead of creating a new executor, what we can do with this, we can call this in the main executor itself. You can decide. Uh, so, for simplicity, I'm just doing this. I'll just remove this part of the line. Yeah, that's all. I think the only thing left, last is left is to give the API key. So, you can either add in your build config file or I'll add it directly over here for simplicity. So, just go back to this one. I copied this and I'm hard coding, I know that's not a good thing. And moreover, don't use my API key. Anyway, I'll remove it after this uh, demonstration. It won't work. So it's good not to share your API key with anyone. So I'm running the app now. Let's see how it comes up. So that's all. This is a short. Okay, so I think I missed out on few things here. One is like uh, the results will get printed on the print in which I don't want. I want, I want, what I want, would like to have it is to get printed on the text view. So I can do one thing is result text here. And I don't think I'll need the text line. And also, I will do one thing is I'll print the error also over here. P dot true string. Uh, it's good to keep it in log, but I don't think I'm maintaining log for this particular demo app. So yeah, so app had come up, but I'm rerunning it because the output part I have just now added. So let it come up again. I click this button. It may take a while for the first time at least. If everything is right, then it should give me an output for a, this particular letter studio about magic backpack. At least some output I'm expecting here. Yeah, otherwise, it may throw an error also. That's what I, okay. So perfect. So if you see something has come up, it will not as call because I've just used a simple text view. You can you could have used a recycle view. I want to keep this coding simple and straightforward. So that's why I've used all the very basic things. So that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is. You can just quickly use the reference document, which Google has provided in a very, very good shape and Visit over there. So, I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.